All right, in today's video, oh, I got a videographer today. All right, so we're gonna be going over and we're gonna be doing a little pond update for you guys. I've gotten a lot of requests to do this. So we're gonna walk around, keep an eye out for beds and stuff because it's that time of year. And first thing I noticed when I got here, first thing, I'm just gonna say it, there's no trees floating. We put the Christmas trees in and there's no trees floating at all. So that's great. So we're gonna walk around the pond, pick up some trash, and just look for like little bluegill beds or bass beds and just see what we can see first. And then we will throw, we got the cast net with us. So we got the cast net with us. So we'll throw that about like twice or so just to see what is going on with the pond. First thing I noticed when I got here is the water is still a little bit muddy. There's about six, four to six inches of visibility and that is to blame right there. They're still building houses. That used to be all woods. The pond started to clear up when they finally put sod in the house right behind us. Right there, they finally put the sod in there. That cleared it up for about a week, but then as soon as they put that in, they started building that house right there, and then they made it all muddy again. But once they are done building that house and putting the sod in, this pond should clear up to be pretty nice. Oh my gosh, show this, right here. Oh, guys, oh my gosh, who remembers? It's Harry. It's Harry. He's here. He he wasn't here. He he's been missing. We we've lost we lost Harry last year. Oh my gosh, guys, Harry's in the area. We haven't seen him in such a long time. If we can find Harry in the next few weeks, or because he's been missing for a solid six months now. Oh my gosh, we gotta find Harry. Harry's here. Look, there's proof right here. The Harry. He's been in this area. So hopefully we can find. Him. Here, we got the rock. This is marking the middle tree in the pond. It's about halfway out. There's a stick sticking out of the water over there, but I, that's that's not from the tree. So the water level did go up a little bit because I put this in. It went up about a few inches. This pond is still really cold, so I don't know if they're gonna be pushing off the spawn yet. But that that's it's good. The rock didn't move, so now we still know where the Christmas tree is. There should be one down there and one down there. Uh, another rock at least. And the mat is slowly starting to come in. You can show right there. You can see the mat is slowly starting to come in. Right there, we got our first signs of life coming in. This is last year's mat. It's dead. It's dying off. But the mat gets really thick here. I think we might have to trim it down a little bit in some spots because it almost it basically covers like the whole like one third of a pond on, on the outside of it. We haven't had any issues with water level this year yet so far in all kind of woods. But the water level has been staying at this height, which is great because this pond is really deep. When we put the Christmas trees in, Luke actually dipped the paddle down there. And it was a seven foot paddle and he couldn't touch the bottom. So the pond's at least seven foot deep in the middle, but it, it's gotta be way deeper than that. And once this pond starts to clear up, I have an underwater camera. I'm gonna drop it down. I'm gonna check on those trees right there and we'll just get a better feel for the pond, at least the bottom of the pond once I get my underwater camera and once this thing, no, I already have it, but once this pond starts to clear up. We got our first thing of trash here. Probably blew over here from those construction sites, but we're picking it up. We're trying to keep, keep this as clean as we possibly can. Just because, oh, look, I love it. We're just trying to keep it clean so then these fish can live as healthy as the healthiest lives they possibly can. So in the summertime, there's millions and I say millions of frogs here. And look right there, we got our first frog eggs that of the season so far that we can see. This, pro this whole thing is gonna be full of frogs. When we're walking here in the summer, we walk right along the bank and they all jump out into the mat. I really wanna see a frog jump out into a mat and then a bass just attack it. We'll probably see that this year because we do got quite a few bass in here this year. As you can see right there, we got some more frog eggs right there. Definitely, there's gonna be a lot of frogs here in the summertime. So it's a really cool to just watch jump in. You just walk around here. Sometimes I just come here and I walk around and this, those little frogs will just bolt in and it's like every step you take, like two of them jump in. Also in the summer here, why the frogs stick around here so much is they got, well, they got the perfect, they got a water system. And then there's millions of little crickets that just like go on the shore and like bluegill eat them and stuff. So we got a lot of food here going on at this pond. There's no lack of food for any species in here. So in the winter, when this whole pond was frozen solid over, not frozen solid, but like it had a good like three inches of ice on it, me and Luke came here and we threw some rocks from this rock pile right here. And we had a big pile of rocks, probably about like, probably about 
like 10 feet out because that's when it was low and it froze when it was low. So like 10 feet out, there's a huge rock pile with like sticks like wedged in them and everything. So there's a nice rock pile out there for whatever wants to go on the rock pile. And this is where those two fingers of the pond kind of meet up. It's like right here. Like it's really shallow and it just stays shallow the whole way across except for the middle channel that runs right through it. That's where I think most of these fish are going to be spawning on. Is those two little finger things that poke out like that. Oh, we just found this. There, there's a new weed that's growing in this year, it looks like. That might be a part of the mat, but I think that's a new, that's a different type of weed. So that, that's good. Like, it looks looks pretty cool. It's like flat and stuff. Bluegill will hang out under them. I don't know. But that's a different weed in here. It doesn't look invasive, so looks fine. We got this scum going on here. <clears throat> we got this scum going on here. We just need to keep an eye on it. Right now, everything should be fine, but we just need to keep an eye on this. Make sure, because a few years ago, we used to fish this pond all the time, and then this stuff took it over, like this LG looking stuff. It took it over, but we just need to keep an eye on it, and then we should be fine. It's not a concern now, but we just need to keep an eye on it. Now that we made a loop around the pond, we are gonna throw the net twice or once. We're gonna throw it one right there and then one right there, just in this general area right here. We're just gonna do two net throws today and just kind of get a little feel. We don't want to pressure these fish too much just because it, oh, I mean, we just don't want to pressure them too much. All right, here we go, we got the net. It's an eight foot net. Should be able to get a lot of like little finger like bluegill and stuff like that. Finger like bluegill, small like baby bluegill and baby crappie. Maybe even a finger like bass. All right, here we go. Not the best throw in the world, but we'll get one farther out and then we'll try to get one closer in. Oh, that's really deep. That's just sick. Let's pull it in. And we got... We got a little crappie. Got a baby crappie in there. Just one, it looks like. Oh no, there's a few. Right, we gotta make sure we get every single one of these little guys. Just a little last year's spawn baby crappie. I think, I think there's just one in there, right? Mm-hmm. He's right there. He's right there. We'll get him out right there. Little baby dude. We'll double check the net. But look at him. Just a little baby. There's a lot of these little baby crappie in here. And they're the bat when the bass eat the crappie, they got a lot of extra like Omega threes, I think they're called or whatever. It makes the I read something about it. They make the bass grow faster and stuff. Let this little guy go. There he goes. He was hanging out right on that. There's like a little brush pile or something right there, just like right by those trees. All right, let's throw it one more time. All right, so we're just gonna throw in the same spot, but a little bit closer in. All right, here we go. Right, that wasn't a really good throw, but whatever. Let it sink and then pull it in. Let's see, just checking up on the pond. Oh, I got, I heard something. Oh, I got a lot of little bluegill. Looks like I see like two or three, two or three little bluegill. Oh, gee, there's quite a bit of little bluegill in there. How are we looking? Any, any else in there? Three. Is there any in the net too? No. These are bluegill right here. Straight bluegill, no hybrids. All right. There we go. This is what we got out of this one. Bluegill are a little closer in. All right, we'll get the release on them. Didn't stress them out too much. Make sure none of them are stuck in the net still because I'm not trying to kill any of the fish in here. Those fish were born in here. Those fish were born in this pond because we didn't put any that small in here. And if we did, they would have grown up because last time we put something that small in there was like two years ago. Thanks so much for watching today's video. If you're new to my channel, you're going to want to get subscribed because we have a ton of amazing content coming your way and you're not going to want to miss it. We got another video coming here. So after what I found out today, I, I'm going to take some of those smaller bluegill and some of those smaller crappie out of here. There's just way too many in here. We're going to take some out. We're going to put them in a different pond where they'll still be safe and still have a good life. But we are going to take some smaller ones out. That's going to be a future video coming very soon. So. Get subscribed for that. Turn on post notifications. Thanks for watching. See ya.